Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the cinnamon desktop environment the way you want it to look. So, first look at these icons, they look so old. And when you thought the cinnamon desktop environment looks kind of terrible, so we want to change that. First, search for a program called Teams. Open that up. Then, first for the desktop from the basic cinnamon select arc dark or just arc yeah looks better and now with these we want to set the arc dark or the arc arc no it doesn't go good so we're gonna just do arc and as this we're gonna do Nope, it doesn't look good. It looks more like this stuff. We need the arc theme with the arc dark closing. Now for the icons, you need to download. You don't need to download anything. Just set the Pepperies icon theme, and everything would look so much nicer. It's fine. The Pepperies icon theme, not the Zorid. It might look nicer with the Zorid icons, but. These don't come free and so. So let's find the Pippity's icon theme and apply that. Pippity's. Easy. There we go. And as you can see, they immediately change to something much nicer. Now, it doesn't fit very well with this, so we need to put it to arc dark. And now the menu will be dark and looks much nicer. Okay. Now we have to do a couple more modifications in this program. We need to change it to boom. If you wanna, you can change it to boom dark and looks extremely cool, the cursor. Now we can close out this team program. Now what you need to do is, if you wanna download, you can download a third party image for this. But I'll just apply one right now because I already have one downloaded. Now go to menu, not panel, I want panel. Use a custom label. Now select this thing. And now click on browse and then browse for where you have it downloaded. I think I have it somewhere. Somewhere on my desktop folder. I'll say that. Or you can just choose out of one of these, which there is a bunch of good ones. Like this Android logo, I really kind of like this one. But, Embellas, you can check whatever you want. It looks extremely good. You can change the, this account to whatever you want. Let's just change it to this. Why not? The best thing would be. Oops. They want a music icon. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's set. Think device. No. Embellows. Just try to find something suitable. Utter. Yeah. Are, yeah, I think that fits pretty well. Yep, now we can close out this. And we can always make the panel a little bit harder, higher. But look, let's first put all these icons here. First put the menu. I think it should be right there. Nope, I don't want to... Go into panel and mode. I want to go to panel settings and increase the panel height a bit. So from 40, I think 46. I love it. 46 it looks good. Close. There we go. It's always looks like good. Now we can change the sub background. First, let me just move all these icons to my second screen. So you will have to deal with them. 
then right click copy Cut and then and then paste. They, I don't really know how to move these here in this element. I mostly use GNOME I'm, I'm more than GNOME user, but for now we're just gonna leave it like this. And finally, the least important thing the desktop background. Now, there are a ton of cool ones on a website called gnomelog.org. So, we're gonna open that up. And now I'm going to Firefox browser. Or whichever browser I'm going to use, I'm just going to use Mozilla Firefox. But you can also use Chrome. You can just go here to GNOME wallpapers. Wallpapers GNOME. I like this one. Right click. Maybe this is that some background stretch. Might need to refresh the desktop. If there is even a refresh button right here. Funny if there isn't. Can I just right click? I think we first need to download this image. Yeah, download. Yeah, download it. Now we can open it up. There. Image viewer. Application. First, open files. Go to downloads. In there. Can't find it. Where did I put that? Ooh, we have cooler ones. So we can set. Oops. This as our wallpaper. But it won't just work. Just doesn't wanna. I think maybe if it's in our pictures folder, we need to put this into our pictures directory. Yeah, we already have some cool ones in the picture directory. Now we can search for wallpaper. Wait. First, we need to search for set. We need to right click the desktop and I'll change it to background. This opens sets advanced pictures and can set this one, this one, this one, this one. But the best one is this one. I like to this one to be set. It's bright, it's cool. Yeah, that's basically how to make the cinema desktop environment the way you want it to look. So, with all that said, bye.